Hello and welcome guys. Uh, today's video is of vital importance. It's quite um, quite important. It's something that we did want to, um, we, well we were, were thinking about bringing this out much sooner, uh, but now we've come to a point where for 2020 it's of vital importance that we do create this video for our candidates and clients. Um, reason being is that we've come across that a lot of candidates and clients don't know what the actual process is when it comes to applying for a position. So we're going to take you through from beginning to end what you need to do when you're applying for a position, whether it's with us or with any recruitment company. Um, there are steps involved and it's vitally important. It's all vitally important that you do follow these steps to ensure that you are shortlisted for the position and that you're not wasting the recruiter's time, you're not wasting your own time and that you are going to be shortlisted or going to be guaranteed an interview. Uh, please, this video is important, so try and follow the steps uh, that we provide you to the T. This will ensure that you are shortlisted. By missing out any steps or not taking this video, or taking the video for granted, um, you will not be guaranteed that, that, uh, that interview because we've noticed that a lot of candidates do not do what is required of them when they are applying for a position, okay? Um, so firstly, when you get started, when you're going to be applying, you're going to be looking through various websites. We have given you a video, uh, I think it was the video just before this, um, you can find it on our playlist, or if you subscribe to our channel, you'll find it on our playlist subscription. Um, sub uh, subscribe button can be found on the right-hand side of the screen, or you can do it in the, in the box below. Um, if you go through our playlist, I think it's the video just before we created this one. It um, gives you a list of the company's websites and recruiters um, that you can search on that provide that advertise your vacancies. Um, you can go through that list, go to any of those companies, any of those websites, and that is your first step in when you're searching for a position. Go to a relevant organization, recruitment firm, or company that has advertised a position, um, and you can go and apply for that position. Um, you get all the information, whether it be an email address, whether you've got to upload your CV, etc. Um, get the process involved, and then you can uh, start with the proper steps. Okay. Um, in, in what what I would also also suggest is that every company, whether you want to work for your financial institution, any large firm that you would like to work for, if you go onto that company's website you will guarantee, be guaranteed that that company has a careers page. If you go on to click on the careers page, they will have the vacancies that they have available listed under the careers page. So you can just take it from there, take the information from there, what is needed, the email address, closing dates, etc. Or you can upload your CV on, onto the, that page directly, or you can email them. Okay, this is mainly focused on when you have to email your CV through for a specific position. In this case, we are looking at, um, I've got our website open in front of you, uh, the experience placements. The reason being, I just want to show you just a brief uh, rundown. In this case, um, there's a post in Amshanga Durban requires a call center manager. Okay, When you're applying for a position, go through the requirements of the role and the responsibilities and what's required for that position. Please, guys, ensure that when you're applying for a position, you do have the relevant um, well, qualification or experience for that position. Do not waste your recruiter's time and your time by applying for a position that you've never worked in, well, that you have no idea what it's about, um, no relevant experience, nothing to do. That is wasting your recruiter's time as well as your own. Unless it's an entry-level position, then obviously they're not looking for much experience. But if you're applying for especially a management role position, please ensure that you do have um, most of the requirements for that position and what they're looking for. Because it's not only wasting your time by uh, preparing or submitting an application through, it's also wasting that recruiter's time. Okay. Once you have gone through the role and responsibilities or the description of the position, in this case it tells you exactly what uh, the responsibility and requirements are, uh, you will then go and compare the your CV to the position for the specific position. So go through your CV, ensure that you have everything listed correctly for the position. So when it comes to your work description, ensure that it matches what is the requirements for the position. So uh, whether it be your skills and competencies, 
ensure that the skills are listed according to the position you're applying for. In some cases, they will have skills and attributes that they require for the role. Ensure that you do have those skills and requirements listed on your CV. So your CV should correspond with the position you're applying for. Make sure that you do have uh, relevant experience or relevant uh, notification. If you are not sure on how to do this, what you would then do is when you say, in this case, we applied for the call center manager position. You can then always just go to, you can uh, search it, on, uh, do a Google search, um, work description for a call center manager. And you can do, a, a, the, the, what, what you can then do is use this as an example of what needs to be stated on the CV. Okay, then when you go into this, it gives you the description, it gives you various, there's various different websites that you can search on for a role description or a job description for that specific position. And you can get the information from there and utilize that same information when creating your CV. Okay, in this case, we'll give you the entire job description um, from the responsibilities to requirements, etc. And then you can utilize that and enhance your CV using this, this way instead of just having your CV created for, for a general position. Okay, so try and focus on the position you're applying for. Do this for every position you're applying for. So whether it be a project manager, financial manager, business banker, relationship manager, etc. To have a work description, know the position you're applying for, have your CV relevant, created in relevance for the position. So even if you need to tweak it, even if the, the CV is not 100%, go through it, ensure that you have the requirements for the position because if you do not have the relevant experience or what that recruiter is looking for you will not be shortlisted for the position so try and make your cv relevant to the position you're applying for find out as much whether it's market related information or whether you find you, you doing research on the firm and the position try and get as much information and then have your cv drafted in such a way that it is relevant to that specific position. So try not to waste your time and your recruiter's time. Ensure that your CV is 100% for every position. So whatever position you're applying for, ensure that you have the relevant information and that you are not wasting anybody's time by submitting their application through. Okay. Secondly, ensure that you do have the correct email address that you are sending it through to. If they're requesting for a reference number, ensure that you have the correct reference number. Make sure that you are not sending the application through after a closing date. Make sure that you are in time for that position. Also, when you are sending through your application, um, address your recruiter correctly. In your subject line, state the position you are applying for and as well as the reference number or the reference they have requested for. State it in that subject line so that they know the position that you are looking for. In some cases, they might discard your application because you have not mentioned the position or you have not stated the reference number. In, the, in your subject line, ensure that you have, as I said, make sure you've got the correct email address. Also, BCC yourself in some cases just to confirm that this email did go through. This is the, the application you've submitted through. You should keep record of all the positions you're applying for. I've noticed this happens a lot with the candidates that I'll call in that have been shortlisted. Um, I'll let them now say it's a risk falling from experience placements just to kindly congratulate you or to let you know you've been shortlisted for the position. And um, would you be able to come through for an interview on this specific date? The candidate turns around and says, um, I'm not sure what position was that. Uh, could you please let me know in more detail which position it was? Fine, we, I'll, I'll give a breakdown was for the accountant or the financial manager. Um, okay, for which company? That is not acceptable. When you when your recruiter calls you and mentions the name, you should know straight out which company this is that you've applied to. You cannot submit applications to thousands of organizations not remembering any of them. You need to know exactly what company you've, you've applied for, for what position, the closing date, etc. So when that recruiter does call you to be shortlisted, you know exactly what to say to them. You know exactly what the telephone calls about and you do not embarrass yourself or the recruiter by not being able to answer the questions that they're asking you on the tele on the phone at that time. Okay, so please be one step ahead when it comes to 
um, to put in through your applications. Uh, make sure that you do your proper research on the position you're applying for. Your CV needs to correspond. Uh, make sure that you find correct uh, uh, positions that are relevant to your experience. And um, especially when it comes to, um, to sending through your CV to a recruitment firm. Um, whether it's an organization, etc., you can always say to the HR directors, when you're submitting your CV through to a recruitment firm, please ensure that you do state, in most cases, they, they have a reference number or the position that you are applying for. Okay. okay. As I said previously, we the video pre the, 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 the video that we uploaded previous to this is gives you a list of all the organizations that you can apply for or that advertise online. Go through each of them, have a look at the, the jobs that they have advertised and use that as a guideline as well to find the employment in 2020. All those organizations listed on that video do advertise on a regular basis. So keep a list, keep that list safe. If not, you can always find it on our playlist. So subscribe to our channel and to ensure that you always have that information um, so that you don't have lose it or cannot find it or anything. You always find it on our YouTube channel. And then you can just go through each organization and find the jobs that they have listed and you can apply through that way as well. They will give you a brief breakdown of, of the way you should be applying, whether it's uploading your CV or emailing your CV. Um, then you can just follow the steps um, that they provide you with. As I mentioned previously, guys, once if you have followed all the steps that we've mentioned, um, then you should be shortlisted for, and, and, and you should be shortlisted for an interview. Uh, please ensure that you do have an attractive CV as well. We've made various videos about this with regards to your appearance, the CV, the appearance of your CV, etc. We've also got videos that you can, if you subscribe to our channel, you can also go through our videos we've got with regards to the interview questions and guidelines that should be followed. Um, so if you follow all these steps that we provide you with, you should be guaranteed a position of finding employment in 2020. Um, we do know that the employment rate has increased. It's almost on 29% and moving up. So, guys, come on. If we put it together and we focus and um, you get your CV prepared accordingly and follow our guides, most of our videos focus around you finding employment. Um, so, please, go through each of our videos. Subscribe to our channel. Get your family, friends, colleagues to subscribe to our channel. Um, these videos will really help you, whether you're finding, you're looking for new employment, whether you are unemployed, looking for employment, whether you are a graduate, whether you're an intern, etc. All these videos are out there to help you finding employment. Um, whether whether you just want to transfer positions or you, you, you're, you are employed and you're looking for something better, these videos are guaranteed to help each and every one of us in South Africa. Um, if you have any ideas or any comments, put it below.